Hey guys, this is Sithbor. Welcome to the Poison Dart skill video. And so basically what this skill is, is it's just a dart that's shot that deals 100% weapon damage as poison, uh, and then an additional 40% damage that takes place over 2 seconds. In total, it could do 140% weapon damage, but the damage does not stack. And so as a result, it's really just 100% weapon damage that takes place. Because um, every time you hit an enemy, it changes, so and it resets. So basically what I'm just doing here is just showing the basic rune. Uh, and as soon as these guys are dead, then I will show you what the other runes do. Because of the fact that it, I'm showing you this in Inferno, uh, to show you what skills are effective in Inferno and which ones aren't. So, in order to avoid the 30 second cooldown, I am going to continuously be teleporting back to town in order uh, to show you the skills without a significant amount of time. So the next skill is Splinters, which shoots three poison darts that deal 60% damage each. So, this is a fast paced skill, but it does do the entire 180% weapon damage. So unlike uh, just the basic rune that does damage over time, this will do the full 180% weapon damage. Uh, yes, I have a Hellfire Ring, so you can see that it's doing some additional damage as well. So this rune, as you can see, just does three basic shots for 180% weapon damage. So it's a really good, really strong, powerful rune. Uh, the disadvantage of this skill, as you can see, is that if people are in the way, then it cannot go through. And since we're dealing with the pack here, we'll use some other skills as well. Stay out of the mortar. Dealing with the health link, so. Anyway, Splinters is an extremely useful skill, and I know one that is likely the most common run choice for Poison Dirt. So let's go back to town and see what our next selection is. So Numbing Dart. So what Numbing Dart does is it does the base damage, but in addition it also slows the enemy by the movement speed by 60% for 2 seconds. Now if I wasn't using Grasp of the Dead, this is an extremely beneficial skill. Um, but since I'm using Grasp of the Dead, the slow to me isn't all that significant. Uh, but I will show you what it does anyways. So as you can see, they're slow, but their movement speed is reduced significantly. And let me try to get to another pack and I'll show you. Uh, one more time, just so that you have a better idea. So, as you can see, as they're... Let me move these guys back towards me. Uh, the movement speed's a little significantly, so... Although it says 60%, because we're in Inferno, it's actually only a 40% slow. 45% slow. But, uh, it's still something that's extremely beneficial. And definitely a good room to, to utilize. Um, it's just a matter of do you want to give up that additional 80% uh, weapon damage for all intents and purposes. Spine Dart. Um, if you're using a mana intensive build, this can be beneficial as it grants 29 mana for every uh, hit. So I'm going to use some of this. And as you can see, my mana, or at least it was until I killed them, uh, regenerating fairly quickly. Since this is the first video um, for the Demon Hunter that I'm, or sorry, for the Witch Doctor that I'm doing, um, I'll just let you know that my damage is not overly significant, it's about 44,000 um, is my average DPS and so it's decent damage but not huge 
So let me get to some more guys. Uh, I will empty up my mana pool. Need more mana. So that's the normal recharge rate. Did empty up my mana pool again. Right. And as you can see, every time the skill hits, that it does, it refills my pool fairly quickly. So, um, if utilizing, uh, like I said, a mana intensive build, then this is extremely beneficial. Flaming Dart. So Flaming Dart is a lot like Splinters as far as the fact that it still provides 180% weapon damage, but this time its weapon damage is fire and it's only a single attack. The disadvantage of this is as a Witch Doctor uses a lot of poison skills, they have passives such as Bad Medicine. So although it still does the same amount of damage, you can lose, depending on what passage you're using, um, some of the added benefits. So that's the only thing to, to keep in mind, but the um, 180% weapon damage just makes this a very strong single target skill. And now we will switch out for the last rune choice. And that'll conclude our video for today. So Snake to the Face. Um, this video, or this rune choice, uh, not only looks cool by shooting a, a snake, but it also has the ability to stun the enemy. For 1.5 seconds. So let me see if I can... There you can see that he's stunned for a short period of time. So it is a, a an effective crowd control skill. Uh, I believe I had stunned him as well. I didn't see it say stunned, but he stopped moving for a minute. So uh, a good skill, not as strong, um, and not something that I'd recommend to replace the primary skill for the amount of damage that it deals. But overall, a good skill. So thanks for watching, and this has been the Poison Dart video.